Hi, second graders. Today you're going to learn about centimeters and meters. You can use a ruler or a meter stick to measure the length, just like we did with foot, inch, or sorry, start with the smallest, inch, foot, and yard. But today you're going to learn centimeters and meters, another unit of measurement. So if you're thinking about a centimeter, centimeters are very small. They're even smaller than inches. Look at your pinky. Now look at the tip of your pinky, the top of your pinky. The top of your pinky is about one centimeter long, so not long at all. So about one centimeter, you're going to say equals the, and you're writing this, tip or top of my pinky. And you can draw a picture of your pinky. And it's the top, the tip from here to here, very small. Okay, something else that might be about a centimeter long would be a very small button. Not a big button, a small button. A small one, one of those really small ones, like on a button-up shirt. So, um, something else that we can talk about is a meter. A meter is very big. A meter is close to a yard. A meter would be about the same as a long step. If you took a long step, as long as you could, the length from one foot to the next when you take that long step is a meter long. So we'll put a meter is one long step. And then you can draw a person taking a really long step from here to here. So we can use a ruler to measure centimeters. Remember we looked at our ruler yesterday and we had inches and it was to the number 12? Well now we're going to flip it over and look at the centimeters. So today, let's go ahead and go to the inside. Okay, guided practice. Match each object with an estimated measurement or measure. So remember, we talked about one centimeter is about the tip of my pinky. So what would the tip of a paper clip be? Would it be one centimeter, 10 centimeters, one meter, or 10 meters? Well, I think that's closest to the tip of my pinky, so only one centimeter. Remember, centimeters, think about one cent. A cent is very small, it's the smallest amount, it's a penny. So if it says centimeter, we know it's very tiny. Cent is tiny. Number two, a big truck. Ooh, would that be 10 centimeters? That would be like 10 pinkies lined up. Well, no, that's not very big. One meter would be like one long step. Well, I know that I can't step as long as a truck. 10 meters, ooh, that makes more sense. 10 big steps would be as long as a big, big truck, like a delivery truck. So I'm gonna go to 10 meters. A table from one leg of the table to the next leg. Would that be 10 centimeters? 10 of my pinkies lined up or 10 tips of a paper clip lined up or 10 buttons lined up? Oh, that's not very big. But one meter, yeah, I'd say when a big table, if I, I could, st that's one big long step, so that's one meter. And a crayon would be about 10 centimeters. 10 pinkies lined up would be about the same size as a crayon. You can measure a big crayon that's sharpened. So, let's go to do you understand you are writing this. I'm moving mine up so that I can have room to write. And you can see it so that the pause button is not covering it like usual. Would it be easier to use centimeters or meters to measure the length of a house? Why? Well, I'm thinking about centimeters. Centimeters are very tiny, like a one cent. So very tiny. And meters are big, like a long, a long step. 
So do I want to use tiny little buttons to measure my house, which is big, or big long steps, which would be a meter? I probably want to use the big long steps. It won't take as long. So here's what you're going to write. It would be easier to use meters. And this is a complete sentence, so I want you to write the same thing. And pause if you need to, because meters are long and won't take as long. All right, go to the next side. And remember, you can pause if you need to write that. Okay, for number five, six, seven, and eight. Estimate the length of each object shown. Use a ruler or a meter stick to measure. So estimate, remember estimate equals a guess. So you're guessing. Do you change it after you measure? No. If you change it, then that's not a guess. So a guess is what estimate means. Okay. So how many centimeters do I think a book would be about? Mm, well, crayon is 10. I think from the edge of a book to the other edge, that would be about 20 centimeters. Okay, then you're gonna go measure with a ruler. Okay, the teacher desk from the edge to the other edge, how many meters? So how many big long steps would that be? Or sticks? Mm, I think it'll be about two. You can write what your guess is. Then I'm gonna go measure. A crayon box, um, you can cross off seven. I don't have a crayon box, so you don't have to do seven. If you have a crayon box, then you can. And the a bookshelf, our big long bookshelf with the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, all the way to Z books, the top of that, from there to there, how many meters long do you think that is? I think it's only gonna be one. And then I'm gonna go measure. Do you, or reasoning, sorry, number nine. John says that his toy truck is about six meters long. Do you think this is a good estimate? Why or why not? So he's saying it's like six meters, which would be like six huge steps long. Holy cow, his toy truck. Would that be a good estimate? So we say that's a good estimate and why, or that's not a good estimate and why it's not. Go to the next page. You're on the back now. It says, solve the problems below. Number 10, Mr. Gavin has a ladder that is 100 centimeters tall. So think about a centimeter, the tip of your pinky. Miss Cornell has a ladder that is two meters tall. Whose ladder is taller? Remember, there's 100 centimeters in a meter. So if there are two meters, that would be 200 centimeters. So who has the taller one? Mr. Gavin with 100 centimeters or Miss Cornell with two meters, which equals 200 centimeters. That's my hint to you. Number 11, which animal is about a centimeter long? Remember, a cent, really tiny. Is it A, a skunk, B, a snake, C, a caterpillar, or D, a tiny little bug? And number 12, write about two different objects you might find outside. If you do something in the classroom, that's okay too. One object is about one centimeter long and the other object is about one meter long. So you could choose something you see that's a centimeter long, like I know someone last year did the tip of an eraser on a pencil would be about a centimeter long. Something that would be a meter long, which is one giant step. What could that be? Hmm. All right, when you are done, go ahead and take it home.